traffic accidents pose a unique set of tactical considerations for the fire officer. First, locating the accident can be a problem depending on how it was called in. For example, the direction of travel on the interstate highway or the exact location on an exit ramp. Upon arrival, the officer and driver need to consider the proper placement of the apparatus. Will lines need to be laid for protection? Is there a fire involved? Where can you set up your extrication equipment? Where will you be operating in tools and equipment from? All of these considerations need to be made within the first few minutes after arrival. In this module, we will be discussing traffic incident management. In addition to the setup, vehicle positioning, use of high visibility vests, and other concerns for the management of the incident, what are some of the concerns that apply to vehicle extrication? Do you have a specific checklist of items to use if you have a traffic accident requiring extrication? Should you? Do you lay a line when you're operating extrication equipment? How many units do you need to function at an extrication scene involving at least one entrapped victim? Two or more? In this discussion, please recall any major incidents that you have either worked or may have knowledge of. What were some of the considerations for the officer to make? Do you feel there should be a checklist of tactical objectives for a motor vehicle crash? If so, what should some of the benchmarks be on that checklist? Be sure to post your initial response no later than 11 p.m. on Tuesday. Post to your fellow students' responses no later than 11 p.m. on Saturday evening. Your video post should be limited to about three minutes, but your replies must be substantive to the conversation. You may use the linked article for further reference material. Good luck on this week's assignment.